Knife care. Tools required. Large torque wrench, long handle breaker bar, one and one eighth inch socket, wire brush, antices, lockout tag out. Always wear proper clothing and personal protective equipment. Clothing should be close fitting and tucked in. Hard hat, eye and ear protection must be worn while working on the chipper. All eye protection must be OSHA approved and should consist of safety glasses with side shields, goggles, or a flip-down visor that may be plastic or mesh. Wear a sturdy pair of work pants and a good pair of steel-toed work boots with non-slip soles. Proper fitting gloves are also recommended to protect the worker's hands. Warning: Always perform the lockout tagout procedure before working on your chipper. Serious injury or death could occur if someone accidentally starts the engine. To begin, disconnect the hood safety switch. Pull out the hood pin or spring latch and open the chipper hood. Roll the drum so the knife is in the center of the hood opening and insert the drum or disc locking pin. Next, inspect the knife. Look for loose bolts, cracks, or wood packed beneath the knife. When it comes to chipper knives, a good rule of thumb is if a nick is found to be more than a sixteenth inch deep, large chunks missing, or knives sharpened past the allowed one inch, Discard and replace with a new knife. If your chipper is equipped with a two-sided knife, you can rotate the knife 180 degrees and reinstall. To replace your knife, please follow these steps. Remove the knife bolts with a long handle breaker bar and a 1 and 1 8 inch socket. Inspect the knife holder. If the front of the holder is cupped more than 3 16 inch deep, discard and replace with a new one. If the knife holder is good, clean this area with a wire brush and install the new knife. If your machine is equipped with a knife clamp, inspect and replace if cracked or damaged. Next, use antices on the knife bolts and torque them to 375 foot-pounds using a large torque wrench with a 1 and 1 8 inch socket. Follow this procedure on all knives, and when complete, remove the drum or disc lock and close the chipper hood. Replace the latch or hood pin, reconnect the hood safety switch, and remove the lockout tagout. Your chipper is now ready for operation.